So this is how you rip uh, or use a handbrake for Apple. First you want to put your DVD in. And then we wait for it to come up to register. All right, so see the DVD there. This is DVD player. You can hit escape to get out of that. Then we can just go ahead and quit this. All right, so you go to DVD player and go to quit. So you quit that, get rid of that. Now, let's come down here and open up Handbrake. So, we're going to DVD recorder there. All right. And we're going to just open that so it can read it. And so then we're going to change our file name. So go to browse. And then on the desktop, there is a folder called ripped DVDs. So that's where we want it. So we hit save. Oh wait, we forgot to change the name. So the name is what's the date? What's the date of that? Four eighteen. Okay. So four dash eighteen dash seventeen. Use the date. All right. Then we're gonna save it. Then from here, that is it. All your settings, we'll make sure that we are H.264, which it is. The format is an MP4 file, which it is. So, hit start. And it is queuing. So now we're just going to wait. Okay, so now once it finishes processing, you'll get this message here. Uh, your queue is done. So you hit OK. Then we can come over here and quit Handbrake because we are done with it. Quit that. Then come over here. Right click on the DVD and let's eject it. And out it comes. We're done with that. So now we need to send the file via WeTransfer. So the folder for this is um, somewhere on here. Ripped DVD. Is this folder? So let's open that. And we see the file that we just ripped right there. Oh, it's so, inside the folder? Yes. Okay. So we're going to open up Chrome. And then go to We Transfer. And then from here, you would put in the email address of the person you're sending to. Then you put in your email address and then the message that you want to put in. So then we want to go back to, um, to our Finder window. So we can click on Finder, go back here, grab your file, and drag and drop. Make sure you drag it into the white area there, drag and drop. There it is. And then you fill out your information and hit transfer and you're done. So the next thing you want to make sure that you do when you get done is come up here and quit Chrome. And then we can close out Finder, close that out, and we are done. Thank you, Shreese. Appreciate it.